makes no sense, so it's shake and bake, it's nonsense. Doing something a little bit different here. I just want to give a shout out to Camus for kind of making this all possible. They um, haven't sponsored this video, but they are looking into some of my content. So I really do appreciate them for giving me the shot of, you know, potentially being sponsored by them. So if you want a Camus product, please check the description or use the code on the screen. It really helps out the channel. And let's hop into it. Ladies with gentle hands. Start your engine! We're expecting entertainment today from Charlotte Motor Speedway. And whoa, NASCAR. So if you know me, you know I've never even been to a NASCAR event. Um, I've watched some NASCAR on TV, but when I think of NASCAR, I think of this sort of atmosphere. And, you know, while it looks fun and all, I... To be quite honest, I don't know, man. <laughs> uh, NASCAR fans are interesting, to say the least. But, you know, I wanted to give it a shot. So I did in iRacing, and I think I'm doing pretty well. And it only makes sense for me to dabble into something American because I am full-blooded American. So I probably should do the whole NASCAR thing, right? I mean, America, troops and beer i started drinking at 6 a.m and we're here now i don't know what time it is but i'm rolling deep and those cars are going real fast and real left son they're going fast and left no this isn't the only time i've raced oval um i have raced oval before but let's keep an eye out on this vehicle here that will be me for the remainder of the race number five so in lap three, uh, nothing too exciting going on here. I'm trying to just pick out the highlights because it's a lot of um, just going in a circle. And um, over here, we're just sort of cruising with this dude in yellow, who you will see again in the future, who likes to be a little aggressive. So I'm trying to stay away from him for the most part throughout the majority of this race. However, in the next lap, he kind of gets a little close and... Pushes me into the wall, sort of. Not really. Uh, I'm just trying to avoid him because I saw how aggressive he was the first couple laps. So then I get sent back a couple positions. Unbelievable! McQueen is fading! McQueen is fading! And now I am sitting in the back, keeping a close eye on my opponents up front and catching a little draft when I can. Up into lap six here, I'm still in seventh place. And uh, I think around this time, there's a little bit more action. Later, you'll see a green car who actually tests the yellow car, which I'm trying to stay away from. Um, probably a bad idea on his part because uh, I think he gets taken out a little bit later in the race. Um, but yeah, he, he pretty much tests the yellow car and the yellow car's patience and kind of just smacks him up a little bit here. So you'll see it right over here that I have circled. Mr. Green tries to take the inside on Mr. Yellow and Mr. Yellow is super aggressive. So as he's doing this, Yellow kind of turns in to try to twist him, but he holds his ground and actually pops Yellow out. Uh, I don't know what to call this, if this is an incident or not, but uh, I would be pissed if that happened to me. So here, I actually give, I think, Yellow a little push instead of trying to fight him. And in doing so, we're able to pass a couple people, which is pretty helpful on this lap. So you can see it here where I give him a little, little boost. Somebody gets hit on the side there, and then we pass up number seven together. And now I'm up into fifth place, which is much better. And um, I'm just in his draft, but I'm not attacking. And my patience pays off because in lap 14, he gets twisted. So we'll see it in this point of view here of the guy who kind of twists him out of control and sucks for him. But uh, I think I gain a position because of this uh, unfortunate event to uh, Mr. Yellow. As now I'm 
passing up the guy who twisted him out, and um, I kind of leave this guy in the dust here. And by lap 16, um, still in fourth, and I'm just watching the uh, chaos in front of me as I do in oval typically and sort of just prey on the people who are uh, in podium position. I feel like in oval, this is the way to go, at least for me personally, is sort of just wait it out, let the people battle, and then come up on them a little bit later, uh, which worked out great for this race. Um, you see me slowly catching up to them right here on this turn because, again, they're battling. They're not drafting each other. They're not trying to create a larger gap, which is unfortunate. But, again, this is also rookie, so they probably just don't have that mindset of working together a little bit to build a gap and then maybe the last lap fight. Uh, but this is working out for me. Um, you can see here I'm still catching them slowly. We're going into lap 17. There's only 20 laps here. And uh, the guy behind me is trying to put some pressure on me. He's trying to draft on me, but not good enough. You see this guy kind of fight here, lose their positions, right? Now I'm in second because of that fight. And you can see this again here. They, they fight a little bit, giving the green car the go-ahead. So now it's Mr. Green and me in the final laps here. Um, the green car is way ahead, doesn't have any dirty air. Um, unlike me, I think I have a decent amount of dirty air being back here. I'm not actually drafting right now. I have some pressure from behind. And he has it in the bag. He literally has this race in the bag. We're in the 19th lap here. I'm still in second place. I still have that pressure in the back. But I'm gaining on him. So I don't know what he's doing wrong. I don't know if his car is damaged from hitting Mr. Yellow earlier or from battling the other guys. I don't know if he's giving up. I have no clue. Maybe it's the angle that he's taking on um, this road, but I'm catching him and catching him quickly. So we're going into the 20th lap here soon, and um, now I'm in his draft, right? Um, and now is the time for me to actually battle <laughs> and attack. So... I just go up on the outside here, um, which is not ideal to pass on the outside in any sort of racing event. But um, I decide to do that, and I think he just gives it to me and or I just have a better exit speed. I, I don't know. I think he just gives it to me. And you see it here as well. And I just take the lead, take the win. And this was my first win in Oval. It was great feeling, really. Um, and, uh, yeah, I guess Oval is my thing. Just a man and his will to survive. It's the eye of a tiger. It's the thrill of the fight. Rising up to the challenge of our rival. And the last known survivor stokes his prey in the night as he watches as the fall in the eye of the tiger. <laughs>